Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh, I mean, um, the last video. Julie, do, do the, the thing. thing. So basically, I transformed myself into a Stray Kids maniac. And before you think to yourself, what is that? What does that even mean? It's a long, it was, oh. Make sure that you work the die in really well. And I'm creating the little rivets that the screw has going around it. Now this mold, I can use it eyeshadows that I have. So like yellow and some orange eyeshadows just to really give that dusty textured effect that um, metal tends to get when it starts to rust. <laughs> Trigger warning, this video contains simulated gore and fake blood. It is not to an extreme level, but I wanted to make you aware of it in case you are not 100% comfortable with it. Is this a mission? Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. I'm already in at least the top half of my outfit because getting this over the prosthetics is going to be a nightmare. So I decided to put this on and hope that I don't spill anything on it. You can of course put something on top, but I just don't have time for that. <laughs> so we are going to be doing the thing today. So as you guys probably saw in uh, the making of portion, this is the prosthetics that we have today. So that's one of the bolts that I did. Then we also have these lovely additions. So we have the first bolt that I did that of course didn't turn out exactly the way I'd hoped. If I can get that focus right. But I just decided to make it look like rusty. Let's do the thing. Yes. Okay, let's go. I've been trying to figure out where I want these pieces. So I'm feeling maybe that one there and this one maybe down here or something. Uh, it's really hard to sort of figure out placement because obviously once she's stuck, you can't reuse these pieces unless it's like by some miracle I also forgot to get the acetone oh my god I'm not getting out so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just rubbing some isopropyl alcohol on the skin where the prosthetics are going to go and that's going to help get rid of any oils on the skin, any other skincare that I have left on. That way the prosthetics are going to stick extra well. And hopefully when I'm sweating and doing other stuff in the prosthetics, they're not going to slip off as easily. Now I'm sort of just mapped out where I wanted the prosthetic to go. And I'm just applying the prosade. So prosade is a medical adhesive. And mostly I think now sort of makeup artists have taken it to sort of use it to apply for prosthetics because it is a skin safe adhesive and not many people do get skin reactions to it. Like spirit gum, which used to be used a lot more commonly back in the day before prosade was really commonly used and is as cheap as you can get it now. Mm. So once I apply this, I'm probably going to zoom you guys in a little bit more. Um, if we have that lens, I'm so grateful to one of our friends. He let me borrow one of his cameras and a lot of um, camera gear. So thank you so much, Luke. You are literally a godsend as well as batteries for this camera. You how hard it is to find batteries for you okay I think she is 
duck. So let's use some acetone and we're going to burn all of this extra edging off. And when I say burn, it just dissolves. And I didn't, I forgot tissues. Each one of those days. Hmm. Back here. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. We have fun here. Okay, so basically I'm now just dipped my cotton bud into the acetone and is just dissolving the rest of that edging that I didn't stick down so we could get as clean of an edge as possible. Usually with prosthetics, you want to hold it as taut as possible when you're applying it. That way you don't get wrinkles and can get it as smooth as possible. But obviously doing it on myself, it's a little bit more difficult. And she is stuck. So clearly with the color matching, I was a little bit off because hard to know what it's gonna look like on my face until it's there but I knew that was gonna happen so I was just gonna leave that till later and I'm just trying to clean up all these little bits and pieces I am but one woman and doing it on myself I can't see what I'm doing properly so So again, after applying it, I got more acetone and started to dissolve the edges on this piece as well. She is now attached. I should have had this camera on before, but I'm sorry I didn't think of it. And it doesn't have auto zoom, so, I mean auto focus. So that's that little guy, it's chilling there now. And now I'm applying a uh, fun substance called Bondo, which is a mixture of Prosade with Cabosil, which is not very fun fibrous substance to breathe in so you have to be super careful when using it and basically you mix the two together until a toothpaste like consistency and now I'm just using water here to smooth the edges with it but it can be thinned with water and that's what we normally use to backfill edges on prosthetics as well as help glue bits down and it's basically almost like a like a gaffer tape of prosthetic world like it just is used so often to help with stuff. Technical term I know, help with stuff. After that I'm just powdering it here to get rid of the sticky. And now I am trying to blend it into my skin tone. I'm using alcohol inks here with a flicking brush but I soon sort of switched out of that because flicking alcohol inks on yourself is super so difficult when it's on your face. <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, you know, I'm not wanting to get this in my eye and risk burning the crap out of it. So I just started using some foundation and now moisturizing the skin that I can. And just skipping forward to having done my brows and a lot of my base makeup and everything because that was just super boring. So I don't know if you guys were interested in that, but if you are, I can do just a video on the whole actual process without it being sped up but I thought it would just be super boring just be doing normal makeup add in some lashes
As you can see, because I alcoholed the skin beforehand, the prosthetics are sticking pretty well. And I was actually really thankful for that because I was a bit worried that the plastic cap didn't cover one of the silicon parts very well. So I was, you know, thinking it was going to fall off. Now I'm just going to take some of my alcohol paint. I also added some faux freckles here. This is probably one of my favorite products because it just makes such realistic freckles. And I love adding freckles to my makeup daily anyway, just because it adds this almost more natural effect to your makeup because it is giving the illusion that you're not wearing a lot of foundation because you can see the freckles. So it gives a bit of a fresher vibe to the whole look. So I added the veins just to sort of continue on with my storyline that the bolts are spreading and the whole effect of being ordinary is spreading throughout my body through the bolts as they've loosened over time. As you can sort of see on that second bolt that I put on, the one that has rust on it, the plastic cap was a little bit too thick that I made. So you can see a lot of the wrinkling there, as well as having applied it on myself, it was really hard to see what I was doing and also have enough hands to hold things properly. So I would have pulled it a lot more taut as I glued it down. Um, Part of me liked the effect as well because it almost, because the bolt is older as it's been exposed to air so it's rusted. I do like the wrinkled effect a little bit because it has that aged effect. Just gonna add some fake blood now. So this is just some scab blood. And let's put them where it needs to go. always a fine line between how much blood you put in between it literally taking over or it being enough but for the most part you want to see the details that you put so much effort into so I'm trying to like add enough but also for it to be a little bit more realistic. So like adding some on the bolt and stuff like that. But again, I don't want to put too much on because then you won't be able to see it. And now this bolt, because she's been here for a while. quickly do that. I think she's done fam. Let's get to doing the thing shall we? Everybody, yes. 
that's it. <laughs> That's the reveal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the process of creating this character, this my own little personal maniac. And I hope you guys are inspired to make your own or just to get creative. You don't have to post anything, just sort of for yourself, just put some makeup on, do some fun fashion things or do a funky hairdo, anything that you sort of want to do to try to express yourself because this was so much fun to do and for the longest time I had sort of felt a bit maybe a little bit stagnant in my work at the moment because while I get to do all these fun things um, on a movie set like getting extras ready getting some like cast ready all that sort of stuff it's it loses a little bit of its um, sheen when you're doing it for a job, you've worked um, 16 hours a day and you don't get to have that creative freedom because you're following someone else's brief. Like any job, you're following your, your boss's um, instructions, you're following your boss's rules, you're following your boss's da 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 da. So, Creating something for myself was really special and creating something that like I haven't done that in so long. I hadn't even put makeup on myself for the longest time before starting back my channel and it's just been so liberating to be able to do that for myself and I'm getting a bit emotional. As you saw, my videos have gotten very emotional lately. I, why am I going to cry now? Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Uh, why? But just being able to do that is such a blessing. And I want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey. It has been a long time since I've been sort of wanting to start this back up, but I just didn't know what I wanted to do what people would be interested, but then <sighs> seven beautiful women from Dreamcatcher sort of took me by surprise <laughs> when K-pop hit my life again. Um, and being, being a part of a fandom, which is not something I ever thought I was going to say. Like I had never been a huge fan of boy bands, girl groups, like Spice Girls, Backstreet Boys, but being a part of a fandom and finding people that really connect with another human being on a level that is not just musically. It really made me proud to be a stay and to be a part of the fandom when the leader of a group gets so emotional about wanting to protect everyone, to protect the members, the staff, the fans, everyone, because he knows how precious it is to be in that position, to have so many people love you and really support you. And he wanted to do the same for everyone. They were really appreciative for everyone, for waiting for them um, for two and a half years. And it really, it like, I'm pretty sure everyone, <laughs> everyone that watched that was a crying mess because it was literally something I hadn't seen before. And it was the sweetest and poor Felix just kept crying the entire time. Yeah, they're, they're just too precious for this world. So yeah, so this video was just super, really lethargic for me and really inspiring for me to do my own like creative process again and I could not have done that without the help of my friends without the help of my boyfriend because they <sighs> try not to cry but I am so lucky to have such amazing friends and an amazing partner who believes in my dreams, who helped me get to where I am. And I want them to know that their help and support isn't taken for granted because, you know, it's, 
with them I had the most amazing time you you would have saw in the reveal how much I laughed at the end because I was just having so much fun and I hope they had a lot of fun too because it's not something <laughs> I do every day to Simon thank you so much for putting up with me putting up with my editing and just trying to make things for my channel thank you so much to Sam and Luke thank you so much as well for helping me for Sam lending me your husband <laughs> to help me film things um and Luke to helping me film for helping me with the camera stuff with editing as well as letting me borrow your camera equipment thank you so much it really means the world to me um and for filming as well it was just I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too I don't really know where to go from now <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole process. It was really fun for me to do and I hope you really enjoyed the reveal. And I have something else that I'm trying to get to and edit, but I'm also going to be doing something to do with the Maniac song. But again, I'm going to have that in a separate video so I can use the music separately without this video being affected. Um, but yeah, so you have that to look forward to as well. That day I was so sore afterwards. Literally, we had been filming for probably four or five hours and I was so dead. <laughs> create your own character, create your own maniac. Um, and I'd love to see people's, if you decide to do this, it doesn't have to be prosthetics, it can be just makeup, hair, anything of just you creating your own maniac because I would love to see that. I would love to see people's in a maniac just that's what clothes fashion um hair makeup special effects is really great at because you can take something that you're feeling and put it outwardly so you can wear it as an expression of how you feel or who you are and it's something that we shouldn't take for granted. If you have any other suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to read them. Thank you for joining my channel. Hopefully you subscribe. If you enjoyed, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye guys. Can I just say the removal process is very important <laughs> do not pull the prosthetics off do not try to just peel it off this thing needs to be taken off correctly because if you don't you could lose your skin and i'm being deadly serious because prosade slash protac isn't it a, a, a medical adhesive it is supposed to stick your skin together so if you're gonna just rip that off your skin's gonna come with it so with any adhesive oil is what you need to remove it so in the industry we usually use something called isopropyl myristate um, and that is just a super oily substance and that's just going to eat away at the glue and help the prosthetic to just sort of come off on its own. So you'll see in the process, I had that on a brush and I was just sort of trying to get that to eat away at the prosthetic and then I can get my brush in there and sort of wiggle it along to hopefully speed up the process. But yeah, it is something that you do not want to rush. You do not want your skin coming off with the prosthetic because um, that will not be fun. So if anything, tip any adhesive that you have stuck on your skin stuck on any product use an oil to remove because that's going to get the sticky off um yeah tip everybody